and welcome to Raven's Plains. I'm Raven Black. Uh, in this short tutorial, I'll be showing you how to bring anything, any desktop item, into the plane with you in VR. And uh, there's two ways of doing this. One is with the Oculus software. So in order to use that, you will have to have an Oculus Rift, Rift S, or Quest. And the other way is using a plugin uh, in X Plane, and that should be able to work with any uh, VR headset. So first up, here's the Oculus way. If you uh, press your Oculus button on your controller, which will bring up the screen, uh, you can go uh, uh, to close down any window. You can grab the grip button, which makes it so you can move stuff around. But also if you press B, it'll disappear. So we're gonna move uh, X-Plane out of the way here, and we're gonna close this thing down too. Right, and uh, this icon over here is Virtual Desktop, and you can select one of your monitors. As you can see, here's X-Plane running. But, uh, and, uh, you know, I have other apps and stuff running. You can press the Grip button to move it around. Uh, if you press uh, left or right on the thumbstick, you'll shrink it or grow it. Uh, if you press uh, forward or back on the thumbstick, you can move it forward closer to you. Uh, so you can position it. Uh, the cool thing is there is an icon on any window that uh, is a little pin icon. If you press that and then exit the Oculus uh, software, this window will stay up uh, uh, forever. Um, you can't interact with it unless you go to press the Oculus button again, then you can move the windows around. Um, but yeah, that's good for uh, stationary things like uh, Twitch chat or YouTube chat if you're streaming, um, things like that. You can uh, do something else that uh, I think is pretty cool. So with the trigger, I can move uh, windows around. But if I hold the grip button and the trigger button, it'll actually pull out that particular window. So I can uh, unpin this thing. And uh, we can just move this over here. And uh, this is a uh, sky vector, so I can just set this up right in here. Press the pin button, exit out, and uh, as you can see, all that went away. And uh, sky vector is still here. So you can do this with uh, any window that you have on your desktop. Uh, if you want to close it, you can always grab it with the grip button. You press B, and it'll go away. Um, my monitor is actually over here. And, uh, you know, grab just about uh, anything. This is just uh, an image that shows the controllers. This is a grip button. This is a trigger I was talking about. Um, you can pull any of these windows out. Uh, let's see, what else do I have over here? Yeah, you can also uh, uh, interact with this while this is open. And uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's skip ahead. Uh, uh, if you wanted to have a uh, little television while you're flying around. You can do that as well. So these are the different ways to yeah, to use the uh, Oculus software to bring in um, to bring in things from your desktop. Next, I'm going to show you a plugin called Move VR. Uh, Move VR can be found at uh, in the comments below, and uh, all you have to do is down that, place it in your plugin folder, and it'll give you a little menu option here called Move VR. Uh, you go to the manage windows and this lists all the windows you have open. For example, uh, Sky Vector that we opened before. You click on that and say move to VR. And we'll move it over to VR. Usually it's pretty crunched and you have to resize these bars in order to get it to display a little better. Unfortunately, um, with Move VR, I found that uh, it's best to shrink stuff down on your monitor before bringing it into uh, Move VR because for some reason it uh, whoops it makes um, makes everything huge. 
we'll close that down in a second. I think uh, we'll bring this photo here. Oh, okay. There are a few things that you can't bring into uh, with MoVR. Uh, apparently photos is one of them. Another one I found was uh, I had a Restream Chat, which is a program not out of the browser, and it wouldn't let me bring that in as well. So there are some limitations to to this, but the cool thing with this, let's bring in Windy here. So it's animated, and uh, also, um, this out of the way. Uh, you can also um, manipulate things as well um, while these are open, unlike the Oculus software, which you couldn't. Clouds. This is a real time cloud cover if you've ever used uh, windy.com before. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is the other way of bringing stuff in. Uh, it's pretty simple to just install, and then you just go in here and, uh, you know, start. Uh, Grabbing stuff like you know, here's my Twitch, Twitch panel, so you can watch uh, the chat and everything real time. Uh, the weird thing about uh, movie VR as well is, let's say I go to switch seats and uh, I go to sit back here. Oh, there we go. Switch seats. As you can see, the window uh, uh, stays up from where you left it in the position of the plane. Uh, the, the Oculus version, if I show back to the monitor here, we'll uh, grab Windy, shrink it down. Uh, there we go. So while this is here, now if I switch to the pilot seat, It'll also be off to my left. So this is actually positional where this just follows you around and stays in the same position around uh, your body. So. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you out. And if you have any uh, suggestions, comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this content. And uh, until next time, I'll see you in the skies. Episode 32 of Flamesavers!